Y'all do not know how hard it is to be Asian nowadays because you're expected to be rich, you're expected to be rich, you're expected to be smart, and I am none of those qualities. I literally graduated college, here's my degree right here, and um, I'm broke. And it, and, and it took me three months to find a job. And I know a lot of people are going through the same thing as me, but when you're Asian, it's like embarrassing. I was expected to be a doctor, engineer, or some, at least a nurse. Especially me, I'm a Filipino. Like you are expected to be a nurse. And I, if I was a nurse, I, I, I'd be cute. Like, look at me. Ooh. Like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I wanna sell my degree. And later in today's video, I'm gonna FaceTime people to see if they wanna buy my degree because I ain't gonna lie. I need some money right now. I am frustrated. But for some reason, even though I'm broke, I'm still happy. I, I don't know. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna try to sell my degree in this video. I'm gonna FaceTime a couple of my friends and I need to get some money out of it. Like, oh my God, I spent thousands of dollars. On a positive note, even though I'm broken Asian, I feel like one of my best accomplishments is being able to have a Latina girlfriend. I don't know how that's possible. I never thought a Latina would like an Asian, especially a broke Asian. But hey, but for some reason, you know, my Latina girl likes me and uh, I do love Mexican food, you know? But that's definitely one of my accomplishments I could put on my wall. I've been talking bad about my own kind for no reason. Like, I, trust me, I love being Asian, but it is hard being Asian at the same time. Especially being broke, like, like I'm a disappointment. But hey, join my journey. Just because I'm broke right now does not mean I'll be broke later, hopefully. But right now, we're gonna go to an Asian mall and we're gonna explore it. But in this Asian mall, there's good deals. There's this weird food that we're gonna try out. But specifically, there's this one Asian place that I'm scared of going to, and it's a place called Seafood City. Just from that name, I could just smell what that name means. Like, I'm expecting that place to smell like straight fish and squid and octopus. Last time I went there, it smelled like straight fish. So in that food market, I'm gonna try food that I have not tried before. But just because I'm broke right now does not mean I'm gonna be broke later, hopefully. But join my journey, subscribe. You're gonna see me become broke to even more broke and then hopefully rich. Maybe just broke again. I I, I don't know. Ah, I'm in the massage chair right now at the Asian mall. As y'all can see the Jollibee right there. If y'all don't know what Jollibee is, it's Asian fried chicken. I'm telling y'all, I'm in the Asia town right now. But there's Seafood City over here. We got Chow King right there. Woo, I'm telling y'all, I'm in Asia town right now here. But here's Seafood City. This is what I came for. And I'm scared to go in here because I already can smell the fish. I'm not even inside, but here's Seafood City. Look at this shit. You got eggplant straight from Asia. You know we're straight from Asia and we have this rice. So much damn rice. Hey, bro, this is the reason why Asian people are so like fat sometimes. Oh my God. Now we're here. Ah, smells like straight fish right now. Look at all these fish that they got. This is the smelly side of being Asian. This shit's nasty. I don't want to try any of these fishes, bro. It smells like straight ass. In the I'm about to throw up right now, y'all. And if y'all wondering, I am not buying a fish. I said I was gonna buy stuff here, but I'm not buying a fish, cause, ugh. There's literally a fly on it. You guys see that shit? That's how stinky it is over here. There's literally flies on the seafood right now. I already been here for only five minutes and I want to get the hell out of here. You literally smell fish everywhere you go. I don't even know if this fish smells gonna stay on me when I get out of the market. Like imagine if I go to Target right now and I smell like fish, oh hell no. Nah. If I stay in this store any longer, I feel like the fish smell is gonna stay on me. If I meet up with my girlfriend later, she's probably gonna break up on me. Like, like y'all don't even understand. This is like straight Asia. Like what is this? Marinated milk fish? Milk fish. I know everyone knows an Asian person or Asian friend that has one of these. These are essential when it comes to an Asian household. Like if it's Christmas, get me one of these. You can never go wrong with that. And that's why Asian houses are so clean. Asian houses are so clean because we have one of those and no shoes allowed in my house. Watch my form, watch my form. Woo! I should get hired here. Like my people are here. Look at the form, look at the form. Wow. Wow, look at they have all kinds of colors. Oh my God. This is Asian heaven right now. Wow, what the hell? I did not know this many different noodle brands existed. I just walked by someone right now and I don't know if they smell like shit or 
if it's just a store. All right, Golario, I'm really scared that I'm gonna smell like fish when I get out of this store. So I don't wanna stay here any longer, but if y'all want a video of me eating all the weird foods here, comment, cause I gotta get out of here. Cause I love Asian people. I love Asian food, but the smell, Excuse me. I love Asian food. I love the Asian people, but the food be smelling crazy. I'm getting a headache. I'm literally getting a headache. Ah, oh my God, fresh air. Oh my God. I think being in Seafood City in that Asian market was a challenge in itself. Holy cow. Like all you literally smell is fish. And I don't know if I smell like fish, so I gotta put some cologne on just in case. Got my cologne, Nautica type thing. Oh my god. In that, in that seafood city, I can smell the fish aura from outside. And I feel like my aura level points have dropped because I think I smell like fish. I might see my girlfriend later, and if I smell like fish, I think she might break up with me. 